Hey guys, Nick Lucky, we're going to finish this train today. Today we're doing my new video, okay, which is how to build big shoulders, okay? And this one, we're going to be going into slight anatomy of the shoulders so you understand how to do them properly, get the best results, and do them safely, okay? Now, obviously, there are three main areas of the shoulders, which is obviously the front, which is the anterior, okay? Of the medial, which is the middle, and the posterior, which is your rear, okay? Now, everyone wants to, or most guys want those sort of rounded caps, sort of big shoulders, but you have to hit all three areas to get that proper look and safely. Okay, so to go into the anatomy part of it, or to basically, to go to the front part of the shoulder, obviously you're going to hit the, it starts near the clavicle basically, okay? Pops out, okay, it comes round here, okay? Obviously, it goes round to this pointed area here, which is the tuberosity area. Okay, and that's where it inserts, where all um, <coughs> areas of it will insert, insert into the, the arm. Okay, uh, <coughs> obviously, and then the other part of the, the other half of making it up is coming around here. Okay, obviously, the front part, and then obviously again inserts into that tuberosity area. All right, and that's the front part. Obviously, the middle part is obviously starts with a bump. Okay, like the acronym. Okay comes down round, obviously, and inserts into that pointed area, okay? Obviously, you then come back round near the sort of back, near the rear, okay? It comes round, covers quite a big portion of the area, obviously, and inserts into that tuberosity area as well. Whereas, obviously, the rear, you need to find sort of the two-thirds of the end of, of the spine of your scapula, okay? It comes round, down, comes round, and inserts into that pointed area, the tuberosity area, Okay, and then obviously the rest of it comes round, covers quite a big area, goes right round, follow it into the, the shape the shape of the shoulder, obviously inserts into that tuberosity area, and that will make up those fibers, okay, or the parts of the shoulder, okay? Now to do the front part of your shoulder is more of a pushing or lifting motion, okay, or coming across slightly. Okay, the first one we do is a shoulder raise, front shoulder raise, okay, which is lifting the weights up like so. Okay, and that's going to activate the shoulder. Okay, as you can see. Okay, and you want to shorten those fibers. The best way to do that, okay, is obviously to go up and across because it's going to make it shorter. Okay, so <clears throat> you get the dumbbell and you bring it up and across. Try and control it nice and slow on the way down. Okay, okay. Like so, okay? And that is one of the best ways to do it, okay? But you can do that with a band or a cable as well, okay? So you don't just have to do it with a dumbbell or a weight plate or a kettlebell, whatever you've got to hand, really, okay? And that is one, one of the best ways, okay? The other one is a shoulder press. Now, you may think a shoulder press is for the medial part of the shoulder. It's not, because the way the scapula sits in your body doesn't sit straight and doesn't sit too far back. It sits slightly forward, okay? Which is the proper anatomy of the body, okay? The way it is. Okay, so what you want to do is obviously get your arms in that position, okay, and press, okay, and that is going to focus on the front part of your shoulder, okay, okay, and do that way, that way, which then brings me on to the middle part of my shoulder, okay, so you've done the front, now we hit the middle, and then the first one we're going to think of is a side lateral raise, okay? And you can do that, but you can do it wrong or you can do it right, okay? To do, doing it wrong is the pouring the pictures. You don't want to be doing that because that's going to give you internal rotation around the shoulder look, not good for posture, and can cause injuries in the future, okay? So you want to be doing it with external rotation, so you want the thumbs to be going upwards. So you want to be lifting the pictures, not pouring them, okay? So, you get them in front of you, Lift them up, and they're pointing upwards, as you can see. Okay, and that's going to hit the middle part of the shoulder. <coughs> okay, and that is the first one we're going to do. Next one is called high pull, which is similar, obviously, to another row, but a much safer and different version, okay, in the way it's done, because when you're before lifting the weight, you can have them in front of you, lift the and you have your arm, your upper arm flip underneath, which is going to open it up into that external rotation, which is good again, okay, and make it a lot safer for you. And you can be go quite heavy and explosive on this, so it's a really good one to do. Okay, so tighten that up a little bit. Okay, you get the weights, like so, and then 
Split it up. Okay. Okay. And do it that way. Okay. Now the next one <coughs> you can do after the high balls is a bodyweight lateral raise. Okay, so we'll move over here. Okay, so <coughs> get over here. And okay, what you can do is you're gonna basically take your body away from your arm. Okay, so you lie down like this, or we'll go on your floors like in a plank position, but just with one arm off, okay, and then turn away from your body. You see that activates the shoulder straight away. Okay, and you'll do that on both sides. Okay, so you'll swap over and do that on both sides. Okay. Okay, so I find it's a really good one to uh, do. Okay, especially if you've got no weights or they're very limited in your room. Okay, or don't have a gym membership of some sort. Okay, and that is for the middle. Okay, for the back, for which we're moving on to. My first one is face pulls. Okay, the face pulls I love. Okay, because obviously it brings you, it gives you that sort of band sort of strength and different strength curve you can use. Okay, so you lean back slightly and you pull back to the ears and to your thumbs go past your ears. Okay, really sort of engage the back. Okay. Get your arms past that midpoint of midline of your body, okay? And it really sort of engages the back and gives that external rotation as well, okay? So that's what you're going to be doing with the rear is getting it past that midpoint of your body, okay? Same with obviously if you're seated row with arms closed or wide, okay? Or even a lateral raise or to a rear fly, okay? You want to be activating that shoulder and getting it past that midline of the body, okay? But anyway, guys. Um, so yeah, remember if it's push for forward or lifting up across, obviously side, obviously on way from the midline for obviously medial and obviously going past that midpoint for the rear. Anyway guys, that is my book, build, build Big Shoulders video in the books. Okay, I hope you liked it. If you did give it a thumbs up and like. Obviously, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus and here on the YouTube channel Focus Fitness. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the bottom below, okay, in the link below, okay, or hit the link that's going to appear above my head very soon. Also, leave your comments of what you thought about the video and how you feel it went for you, okay, or if you've tried the exercises out and how they went for you, okay, and leave your comments if you want to see more videos like this about anatomy, okay. Um, <coughs> obviously, also, if you do subscribe to the channel, obviously, you're never going to sort of uh, miss video posts on this channel and you can follow us every single step of the way. Plus, if you think it's going to help a friend and family out, Get them involved as well. And get them to subscribe to the channel. Okay. Uh, very short. I'm going to stick some links here for some other videos that I've done for the shoulders, like shoulder workouts and uh, other shoulder stuff. Okay. So if you've not checked them out, make sure you do because they're really good stuff. Okay. Uh, but like I said, if you want to see more videos like this, then please send in your comments. Let me know. Okay, guys. Um, but like I said, I hope you found it informative. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and like. And I'll see you guys in a few days with my brand new video. Okay. Cheers. Bye.